Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the Burnaby Bulldogs versus the Semiamu Ravens. With me, as always, classic co host, Sean Simonson. From the crack of a bubbly to the drop of a puck, let's play hockey. Let's take a look here. There's the refs getting the ice surface all ready to go. And all right now, we're taking a little look-see at the Burnaby Bulldogs there. And the other team we're looking at, the Semiamu Ravens in the white with the orange stripe. And the goaltenders for the Semiamu Ravens is going to be Chalmers in between the pipes in the blue paint tonight. And then for the other end, will be Wen Sink. Yeah, and there's the official Simonson. They're talking and making sure they're gonna have a good game. There's Wen Sink sporting the Bulldog jersey, which is sort of a maroonish, I would like to think, with the white and silver trim, it looks like. This is gonna be a, a good game, Simonson. I'm really looking forward to this one. Burnaby Bulldogs, Sammy Amu Ravens, both excellent establishments in minor hockey, and this is U18A2, and we're gonna start the game right off, Simonson, with the Burnaby Bulldogs, number 10, making a bunch of moves, and what a huge save! Right off the bat by Principal Chalmers, number 10, Simra, just catching a case of dangleitis as soon as the game starts. He must know that Selly's there filming. Oh, absolutely, and then with the big time save that shakes the building of Bill Copeland Arena. <laughs> It is from Chalmers. Here we are, but that was an excellent move there that was made. for. The, there's a shot right on, and Chalmers takes that one and gets it for the whistle. Yeah. Now we got 16 going for the Ravens. Rings it around on the far side. They try to get it out. Mm. There's a little bit of a collision there to stop them from doing it so oh. easily. They go back to their own net. There, now it's collected up by the Bulldogs. Oh. Man, so much action, Simonson. The Bulldogs are firing on all cylinders right now. Um, yeah, the pressure is relentless. Here's the Bulldogs in their own zone. The Ravens, number 14. Oh, and the Bulldogs, number two, throws a little bit of a hit. Battle continues on the far side boards. Ravens trying to dig the puck down low so they can get an opportunity, but it's the Bulldogs who get away with it. Number two, turning it around in his own zone on the far side. Ravens intercept it. Feed it out right up front to the captain, number 77. Sylvester Sylvester has a shot. Nice save by Wansink. Puck goes out to the far boards, gets taken down, and there's going to be a penalty on the play. Number 77, Sylvester, you can see he's going to go for a hook in on 15, Kazuda. And right there, 77, Sylvester gives him a little bit of a push. And look at that, Simonson. He's got the stick all up in his face, hooked around him. It's a total can opener there. It's Sylvester, the captain of his team, not leading by example of what you're supposed to do right at the exact moment takes two minutes if he's lucky in the sin bin puck comes back to the point there 16 for the Bulldogs passes it off to his partner does a little button hook at the top of the circles makes some bang dangle bangles dangle bangle. <laughs> yeah and there you go he's got it down low 17 down to four four takes a shot there from a sharp angle oh. can't get through it bobbles around and the goaltender Chalmers gets it yeah let's have a look at this Simon's in the original shot by four Alvier uh, and then look at this, the baseball swing attempt by Ryan and, uh, and Principal Chalmers just decides to put him in detention. He's not letting him out. For sure, for sure. Nice save there, nice tracking oh. of the puck. There you go, another save made by Chalmers. Yeah, there, but actually the Ravens number seven, uh, Jan Joel, just ran over Ryan right there. The game's getting physical, Simonson. You can tell that there's a lot of tension between these two teams already. Well, no, you're gonna just have to use your body in order to overwork the team, to get other team to get the puck possession. And here we go, it's the Bulldogs with the possession right now as they throw it down. Eight goes behind the net, throws it towards the front of the net, and a spin shot doesn't make it all the way through. Ravens collect it, try to get it out. Four stops it with his mitt, throws it in to the far side corner. There's a whistle on the play. Yeah, it looks like that's boarding, Simonson. Uh, you can see right there, number eight, the captain, Nudson. It kind of went out of frame, but he just boarded him from behind. I caught the end of it. As you've taught me, always follow the play and the puck, which I was doing. So that was kind of in the corner, but Nudson's going to go for two, boarding on number 14, Basra. Yeah, there you go. Okay, the puck is down low, and it's... 
on the Ravens stick who they've got the power play as of right now but then it's intercepted at the blue line there by um, the Bulldogs player 17 I can't I think it is yeah spinning making moves to get the puck out nicely done patience and here we go we got two Bulldogs racing they go for oh. it 17 takes a shot nice save there by Chalmers to stay cool calm collected with the situation that they're placed in yeah situation that they're placed in it's like your poet you didn't know it Simon said so puck goes out to the neutral zone Bulldogs giving chase uh, the Ravens Ravens player number 88 has, has a shot, just misses. Wansink goes wide. Oh man, lots of physicality going on here, Simonson. But nonetheless, the Bulldogs and the Ravens battle, and Ravens keep it in the Bulldogs zone. Bulldogs finally get it out there. Not too sure what number it is. I think it's number 13 with Nudson streaking beside him. Has a shot. Nudson there on the, trying to chase the rebound. Uh, Bulldogs 16 holds it in, puck gets to Nudson, Nudson fires it down low. Bulldogs 13 giving chase, gets hammered by number four, but it doesn't knock him down. Number four again goes for a body, puck out front there, uh, back down below the net. Number 15 giving chase, 14, a little bit of a battle there. Bulldogs and the Ravens, physical play, gets out front, Nudson has it! Oh man, the captain of the Bulldogs, number eight, Nudson, almost scored Simonson. Let's have a look at that. Wow, okay, there you go, with a quick Flick of the wrist with that shot there. Swipes at it and beats the goaltender Chalmers, but couldn't beat the best friend of the goaltender. And that's the iron post. It sure is, Simonson. Yeah, the flick of the wrist is like he was in the kitchen. Uh, you know, baking a cake. Uh, flipping pancakes. Flipping pancakes. And there's going to be a penalty on the play for flipping pancakes. Uh, no, I don't know what the penalty is. It's uh, Oh, it's interference here, Simonson. I like the stylish ref call right there. Let's have a look at this. It looks like that's number 15. You can see him come in. It's 15 on 15 crime. Uh, 15 mass from the Ravens is going to go for interference on 15 Kazuda. Kazuda wasn't anywhere near the puck. He wasn't playing the puck. The puck was happening. The battle was with the other players. So yeah, that, that's an interference call. That's a great breakdown there, coach. Thank and you, Simonson. Here we go. There's the drop of the puck there and it is collected by the Bulldogs with some work at the point, back to 17, down low, and then into the front of the net, oh! finds the back of that net, number I 16. don't know, 16 you say? And who is that there, Godfrey. Coach? Godfrey, what an excellent play. Heads up play by the whole personnel on the ice, right off the face off there. Right back to the point, little backward skating to mislead the 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 play the defensive player Sylvester there and then just 17 works it down low to 12 you can cross ice in the slot there to the back of the net off from 16 yeah the Godfather the Godfather the Godfather assisted by number 12 Ryan and 17 who we've been seeing a lot out here Matthew so uh, we'll see if we can get those names to stick probably not though we're just a bunch of guys here just doing what we do just some guys doing what we do having fun cracking bubbly there we go soon to be a Budweiser after this game these guys are U18. Simonson, it's all right. They understand our drinking. Uh, here we go. The Bulldogs down low. Puck goes out front. The semi Amu Ravens get away with it in their own zone, streaking out to the neutral zone. Number 97 takes a little bit of a hit, uh, shakes him off of the puck. Number seven of the Bulldogs rings it around to the far side, giving chase. The Ravens hold it in down low, but it's the Bulldogs who get away with it. Um, not too sure what number that is, Simonson. Number nine, it looks like, streaking right up the middle. Goes through two Ravens. Puck lines on 13 stick, and they score! Number 13 of the Bulldogs, Rochetta, assisted by number nine, McGowan. And that was a nice play by the Bulldogs. It's that Bulldog mentality that you gotta keep going. Look at this. Goes for the dangle through the legs. Can't do it. Nice break up there by the defenseman. But who is there? Another Bulldog. Relentless. Rochetta, Rochetta. Re going after that rubber just like the you know, tire in oh, the, the junkyard shaking it with that tough neck yeah, like they just go and get in there and then yeah, like a pit bull but they're a pit bull but they're a bulldog that's right not, that's not right. like the rapper either i mean like the actual dog that's right that is right and the bulldogs they get it again because they're still hungry they want more kibble and there we are <laughs> they got it number 10 going wheeling for a trip around the outskirts of the Ice there, and then they take a shot, and that's saved oh. by Chalmers, and then the rebound is collected again by 10. Who is this 10 character? Uh, I'll have to have a look, Simon. Yeah, the anyway, notes. Look at that with the backhand and tr the squeezes the armpit chicken wing Chalmers does. Oh, Simrat. Uh, Simrat's number 10, Simon. Simrat. Yeah, and it looks like there is a huge hit there. Uh, plays in a continue in the Bulldog zone. Bulldogs getting it out. 
to the Raven zone. Number 10, Simrad there on the four out of wow, look at that move. A huge save by Principal Chalmers, but look at those moves from Simrad. First of all, number eight, Nutson, the captain of the team, throws a huge hit on the Ravens. And then look at this time, it's in Simrad. Here it goes one on one with Principal Chalmers. And oh man, his foot lifted, he was going so fast. He almost went into orbit and a huge save by Chalmers, Simonson. Yeah, Principal Chalmers, well, I grew up going to a school called Chalmers Elementary and you know what? Chalmers oh. just did some schooling. He sure did, Simonson. The Ravens stripped the Bulldogs. Number 15. Oh, he just labeled that one. An absolute laser gets behind Wansink. And the Ravens are on the board. I believe that was number 15, Mass. He scored. And look at him. He also stripped the puck away of number 17, Matthews, to make this goal happen. It all started from their own end. So with that hard work, takes a little look over the shoulder to see that the pressure is limited behind them. And then that gives a chance to get set, get the goalie backing into the net, and really be able to put it upstairs, right where the kids are sneaking out the window to go and hang out with their friends when they're grounded. They sure are, Simonson, because no one wants to stay in the room when they're grounded. You have to get crafty and figure out ways to get out of the house so you can enjoy your life, because you only get one of them. Leap off the roof, grab onto the tree shrub, and then just no, hang on for really dear going, life. We're really going Simpsons here. Hey, Bart Simpson, the classic sneak <laughs> out. Play continues back to the game here. Uh, number 10, Simra. Trying to dangle nuts against the puck, and he scores, Simonson! The captain of the Bulldogs gets one and puts him up 3-1. to one. And you know what? We're going to have to take a closer look at that. I th that was assisted by Simrat, but I think the puck actually bounced off of a Ravens player. Possibly number four, Wong. I'm not sure, but here goes. Simrat wins the faceoff, trying to do a couple dangles. He's got excellent stick handling ability, like a 10 out of 10. And then there's Nudson, has a shot. Oh, yeah, and it does. It hits number four, Skate, and redirects into the back of the net. So Principal Chalmers isn't going to be happy with that one, but there's nothing that he could do about that. Nice shot by Nudson regardless. Yeah, absolutely, but an excellent win off the faceoff draw yes. by Simrat yes. there with great puck uh, protection possession skills there we're at three to one and here's number 12 for the bulldogs who's that that's flying in rings around the puck around the board 17 matthew for matthews on the other end there back to the point man 14 tries to walk it in guards it with the big body rings it around in the corner on the near side there number three of the bulldogs comes over to try to hold it in 15 it has it and then down low to i'm not sure who that was shot on net that one's directed to the corner here closest to us by chalmers and then it's trying to get cleared but it never does get cleared right back towards the net and now it's the bulldogs all day with all the pressure all the aggressiveness there's a clapper oh. and now if the chicken wing or the bar i couldn't tell but holy bulldogs it's all bulldogs all day and that's the end of the period it is all bulldogs all day right now simonson three to one the bulldogs over the ravens going into the second the ravens are only down by two but boy oh boy the bulldogs have just had all of the puck control but the puck possession and all the time on attack it seems like in this game so far uh, anyways, play continues, Simonson. In the Bulldog zone this time, the Ravens trying to turn the tides a little bit. Um, Bulldogs will have the puck, trying to get it out of their zone. Ravens let them. Number 13 going for a skate here. Rochetta. Rochetta gains the zone of the Ravens. Feeds who's out front there. It doesn't matter because the Ravens take that puck away from them. Back in the Ravens zone, though. 13. Rochetta has it. Number 9. Number 9 fans it. Number 9 has a shot. Oh, and the puck squirts in. Simonson. Number 9. McGowan scored. Assisted by 13. Rochetta. And the Bulldogs win up 4 to 1 right here. Look at that backhand pass right to uh, uh, McGowan. Number nine, and, and you know what? He fanned the first attempt, Simonson, but he stayed persistent, and that's what made him get that goal right there. Absolutely. No, persistence is the topic of the day today, Coach. Sure is, Simonson. As long as you keep on something, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, any kind of dream can be achieved as long as you keep working at it. That's right, Simonson. I couldn't agree more with what you're saying. And a big hit by a bulldog there. Ravens. Uh, number 77, the captain of them has a nice shot. Nice big save by Wansink. Raven still trying to make something happen. Down by a couple, has a shot. Another nice save by Wansink. Wansink keeping the Bulldogs ahead here. Simonson really doing his part as a goaltender. Yeah, Wansink is challenging hard with every time, every attempt that the Ravens get Ooh. on him. Nice move by 13 to go oh. upstairs. <laughs> 
right where your sister is hanging out with her friends that you're trying to spy on. <laughs> Simonson, I, I, I love the analogy there. And they're a little older, so you can get away with that one. Uh, here go number nine, McGowan misses, but he's going to get an assist from that miss because Rochetta picks it up. And look at these moves. Look at the hands on this kid, Simonson. Dangles him out of his underpants and just goes upstairs right where your sister's hanging out with your friends, your older sister, and you're younger and you're trying to spy on her because you're young and you have a crush on your older sister's friends. Right upstairs. <laughs> right upstairs. That's right. Five to one, the Burnaby Bulldogs over the semi Amu Ravens. Here we go. Puck comes out to the front of the net of the Bulldogs there. There's a battle in the corner between a Raven and a Bulldog. Sylvester and 15 of the Bulldogs, it looks like. Here we are. Four of the Bulldogs has it, gets it out. Not quite. It was held in by a backhanded Raven. And it goes to trickle in towards the net of Wansnink. <laughs> Wansnink, Simonson. <laughs> Puck into the Ravens and Wansnink makes a save. Simonson, uh, one too many bubblies already. Uh, the Ravens are number 14 from the point. Goes in hard. Has a shot. Another glove. Easy save by Wansnink. 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 Yeah, it's hard to pronounce. 15 Kazuda. I remember that one. Right out front. Uh, nobody's there. And Principal Chalmers makes it. Oh, Simonson, look at that. Number 14 of the Ravens, Basra, tried to hit Kazuda, but he fell down instead. So that's a little bit of insult after attempting to injure someone. There you go. There was the attempted backhand sauce pass that the defenseman of the Ravens got a hand on. And then after the play, number 14 of the Ravens comes flying in and looks like a Raven that got into something. Yeah, yeah, that was a Raven who uh, had a... A disabled wing clipped or something and it couldn't fly straight because he wasn't flying proper right there, Simon said. Play continues, number 10 goes down. A little bit of rough stuff, but Puck on the other side, the far side, 77. Sylvester gets bodied by a Bulldog. Bulldogs keep it in their zone. Number 10, Simrat. Simrat on the far side boards has a shot and it's going to be a whistle. It looks like there's going to be a penalty on the play. Simon said, I think this one was almost out of uh, frame two as it was behind the play. Number 8, Nudson, let's follow him right here. You can see in the corner, yeah, right there. He elbowed him, he had nothing to do with it. Number four, Wong was minding his own business. And number eight, Nudson, the captain of the Bulldogs, is going to go for interference. There you go. Two minutes in the sin bin for you if you're lucky. Here we go. Play continues on. Ravens trying to get their wings going. Whoa, did you see that, Simonson? I didn't know we just entered a wrestling match. Holding is the call on the play. Let's take a little look-see with the classic instant replay brought to you by Selly Entertainment. Oh, yes. That was a slam, Simonson. That was uh, I don't really watch wrestling nowadays, but if, if you asked me 15 years ago, I'd say that was The Undertaker slamming. Um, the choke slam? Yeah, the choke slam. That was The Undertaker choke slam we just see. Sylvester holding on number nine, McGowan. Plays in a continue. Kazuda behind the net of the Ravens. The Ravens trying to get the puck out of their net, out of their zone. They do all the way back into the Bulldog zone. Wansink there to hold that puck and keep it safe for the... Oh, nice little nifty move by the Bulldogs player. Fires it right up to Nutson in the neutral zone. Nutson gains the zone of the Ravens, trying to get by them. Slips and falls. 15, Kazuda chasing after it. Nutson throws the body, and there's going to be a whistle on the play, Simonson. Nutson, it looks like that's going to go... He's going to go for interference on number seven, Janjua. He's taking a lot of penalties this game. But let's look at this little nifty move right there that uh, the Bulldogs player got around the Ravens. Well, and that's definitely a risky move to be pulling that close oh, yeah. to your net there and win your last man back. But you know what? Excellent. Yeah, excellent. And you know what? Nutsen got hit there. So that was a little bit of a retaliation hit, it looked like, out of anger. He got hit by it, but it was a different Ravens player. He just took his anger out on another player. And unfortunately, the puck was nowhere near seen, and he's going to have to go for that one. See nowhere to be. See nowhere to be. There we go. The puck is in the near side corner. Oh. There's a hit from behind, and that's what that's going to be classified as. I would say that's a boarding call, Simonson, and so would the referee. Number two, Jensen's going to go for boarding on number 98, Wells. We're going to run that one back right from the faceoff. You can see the nice pad save, and look at this, Simonson, just right in the numbers against the boards. You can't be doing that. Uh, not even if the refs are not. I usually say wait till the refs not looking, but you shouldn't be hitting someone in the back of the numbers. That's not right. 
No, you know what? You always have to respect your opponent. You don't want anybody getting hurt intentionally. If that's why you're here, then get out. 100%. Anyways, let's keep going, though, with the hard-working, aggressive, fair play of hockey here. And there's a fair hit. My nuts in. down by the captain. And that's the end of period number dos. That's right, Simonson. We got ourselves a 5-1 hockey game going into the third period. The Ravens really need to muster up some energy, some strength. They need to start to fly straight, maybe get a couple McDonald's scraps from the garbage so they can feel a little better and get a little more energy because it's been all Bulldogs here. The Bulldogs are the one that are in the junkyard tonight, Simonson. Oh, yes, the junkyard Bulldogs are after it. They're looking for the garbage, all of that crap that you'd throwing out half eaten. Here we are, the Ravens at the point. Take a shot, never makes it through to the net. And then it's in the corner, and it's the captain, Sylvester, for the Ravens. Back to the point, take the shot. Nice, nice save. pad save there by Wang, Wang Sink. Sink. <laughs> and, <yeah. laughs> why, why are you looking at me like that, Simonson? You, you, you made me sound weird. That's okay. There you go. Ravens has a shot. Nice save by Wansink. Wansink holds it. And you know what? We might be completely butchering your name, and we're going to apologize in advance. You already know we're just a couple guys. Here you go. The Ravens from the point. Right back and forth trying to play uh, something, but it gets interfered. And look, right in the corner of my eye, I see a Ravens player go down. I believe the goalie, Wansink, is going to get a tripping call here. On number 88, Jansen. You can see right there, yeah, the goalie tripped him. It was out of frame, so we're gonna have to really slow it down, but there it is, Simonson. It's clear as day. Wan Sink tripped him down, and number 12 for the Bulldogs is gonna serve the two minute penalty. Like a good comrade, like a good, you know, a, a good teammate does, Simonson. You gotta stick up and serve for your teammates like you're in the army and they're gonna do just that. Whatever, somebody was gonna sit whether it was him or somebody else. <laughs> That's right. Here you go, the Ravens in the neutral zone trying to make something happen on the power play. Oh, gets bodied by number 16. Throws the puck down and 77. Sylvester gets bodied too by number 14. Little bit of rough stuff. I mean a little. When I say a little, I mean a lot, Simonson. Number 12 from the Bulldogs in the zone of the Ravens. Has a shot. Puck us a number 7 17, another shot. Matthews has uh, number two has a shot. Nice block. So much shot blocking going on here by the Ravens. I'll give them that, Simons, and they're very persistent with their shot blocking. Yes, they are. The Bulldogs have it. They try to throw it out front there, but then it is the Ravens who come up with the puck. They break into the Bulldogs zone, <laughs> and then they take a shot, <laughs> and it goes into the corner there. And now it's still the Ravens. Couple of spin moves there to protect the puck. Trying to get it out, get it over to 88, pretending to be Eric Lindros back in the day of the Philadelphia Flyers. Eric Lindros wins the faceoff, Simonson. Right back to number nine of the Ravens. Still has it on the backhand, 22 has it. Nudson gets that puck out. Get to the assistant captain, number 10, Simra. Number 10, Simra streaking, makes some moves, has a shot, and a nice save by Principal Chalmers to prevent any more damage being dealt that's already been done here by the Bulldogs. Excellent. Excellent, here we are. It gets turned over in the neutral zone by the Raven. A two on one for the Bulldogs Ooh. there. Shot, and the puck comes out, ends up on Simrat Stick, who feeds the point back there and fires one on. Radon is what it was on Chalmers. Yeah, Radon Chalmers. Play continues in the Raven zone, and the Bulldogs throw a big hit on the Ravens player. Right out front, the puck loose. It looks like Principal Chalmers can't quite figure it out. The puck lands on number two, has a shot. Puck bounces in the corner, and the referee's gonna blow the blow the play dead um i don't know why but simonson let's have a look at this the bulldogs number nine right there mcgowan hit number 16 baldasso and then you're gonna see right here the ravens player number 77 sylvester pushes 13 rochetta into the goalie and the goalie didn't like that obviously what goalie wants to get another player pushed into him so he's gonna stand up for himself sylvester the big body that he is is gonna stand up for him and plays in a continue. There's no penalties handed up. Nothing like that. Just a little bit of funky messing around in the crease. Here we go. It's the Bulldogs making moves. Ooh. Shot. That one gets deflected to the near side here. They work it down low into the corner and keep ringing it around as they contain possession, but not anymore. The Ravens fly off with it like they got your bag of chips that you weren't done with on the <laughs> golf course that were half eaten. And you're like, hey. But anyways, it's turned around. The Bulldogs have gone. Got it. Here, number 12 comes. Look at that. One hand to protect that puck. Knock sticks out of the way. Nice little button hook to give the oh! 17. Who label makers that one that says in the back of the net. Matthew brought the label maker out, typed up 
in the back of the net and delivered it to Principal Chalmers. Look at that, Simonson. Assisted by number 12, Ryan, and 15, Kazuda. You can see number 12, Ryan, right there doing what you were talking about before, protecting the puck. Feeds it right to Matthews, and Matthew just labels that one with the label maker like this was a Simpsons episode, Simonson. Oh, wow. You know what? No, that was excellent goal. That was a very, very good goal there, you know? Just stopped, took a second. Found it, like I said, labeled it, stuck it there. The glue was good and it stuck. Six to one. That's right, six to one. Puck back in the Raven zone. Number four getting pressured by number 12. Uh, still can't remember all the names here, Simonson. Just a few. But uh, Puck dangerously bouncing close to the Ravens goalie. Principal Chalmers, Matthew on the boards, has the puck. Here we go, Bulldogs have it there. They're working it around, working around 17. Look at the the, the time of possession, the time on attack by I'm the Bulldogs kidding. is just impeccable with the excellent resilience to oh. not fail as they continue to work over the Ravens. That's exactly right, Simon. So right off of the faceoff, puck bouncing, but it's the Bulldogs, number 10, Simrat, who has possession of the puck yet again. Great on the faceoff, this kid. Trying to go through all three players. Now, that's something that he shouldn't do. He's going to watch his back and be like, man, I should have passed. But the Puck lands on Nudson's uh, stick in his own zone. Nudson makes a move to get around number nine in the neutral zone. Wisp starting to try to get speed. Cuts in front. He's doing all sorts of dangle signs. And what's going on? The puck gets in front of everyone. And he scored. The captain of the Bulldogs, number eight, Nudson, just had a highlight reel goal. I don't know if he meant to do what just happened there, but it happened, Simonson. And it looked real good doing it. An excellent play that had unfolded from possibly an unorthodox orthodox awkward movements here at the line wasn't able to keep going straight like he wanted to and nobody on the Ravens out of the three players there were able to get a good grasp of the spatial awareness of where the puck was and Nudson he used his that to his advantage went through them all and then went and beat the goaltender Chalmers yet again 7-1 7-1, Simon said. Yeah, that, that might have been my favorite goal of the night right there, just from how unorthodox it was. It looked like he had control until the last second when he lost it, but it went through all the Ravens players, and he still picked it back up and scored. Anyways, play continues. Here we go. Puck in the neutral zone. The Bulldogs, number nine, breaking with speed. Has a shot and a nice save by Principal Chalmers. Ravens trying to get it out, but they give it away. Ravens goes down, gets bodied. Bulldogs still have it in their zone. More time on attack, more puck possession. The Bulldogs are just dominating this game, Simonson. Absolutely. Here we go because you know what? If you've got a plastic bag, you're going to need to bring it because the Bulldogs have been crapping all over the Ravens. That's right. And, you know, the owners are going to have to pick it up, Simonson. And I'm not saying that the Ravens are, own, are the owners, but they're going to be picking up something after this game. Well, they're going to have to pick up their play if they want to win. 100%. Well, it's 7-1 to one with only a couple of minutes left or seconds. I don't know, Simonson. Also, I'm going to take account, uh, into consideration here. The Bulldogs hired me out to film, which is going to give them extra motivation to play. So, already, the way that they play... As well as being filmed, knowing that this is going to happen, it just gives that extra incentive and gives an extra pep in their step, Simon said. Well, it looks like the Bulldogs are just the better team out here as time expires in the third period. And that will be the game tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Seven for the Burnaby Bulldogs, one for the Semi-Amu Ravens. Yeah, what a game, Simonson. The Ravens looked like they might have had some pep in their step and when they got that first goal when they were down two to one, but the Bulldogs just took off like a rocket and didn't look back, Simonson. Excellent game. I really enjoyed watching this one. Thank you and good night from Bill Copeland Arena, Burnaby, BC.